Give greetings to Lady Erica and to everyone else in here. We're going to dive straight into the Word of God. This is being taken from Matthew 4, verses 1 to 10, and it states, Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Come on. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungry. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And the devil taketh him up into the holy city and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, angels charge concerning thee and in their hands they shall bear thee up lest at the hands sorry lest at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against the stone jesus said unto him it is written again thou shalt not tempt the lord thy god again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and with him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and saith unto him all these things will i give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me then saith jesus unto him get thee hence behind me satan for it is written thou shalt worship the lord thy god with all thy heart and only him shalt thou serve my people jesus he was hungry he was being tempted so hard. Yes. He was tired. He was exhausted. On, and the devil came to him with a temptation. Yes. He offered him the food all the way to the point where the devil offered Jesus Christ the world. Now Jesus was already predestined to get in all these things. The fact that he is the son of God. But Jesus had the opportunity to take it then and there. But he rebuked the devil. And let me tell you why. You see, my people, the devil, he came to tempt Jesus, trying to give him all of these things. But then you need to remember, what was Jesus' purpose? Imagine if Jesus had accepted the devil's offer then and there. He would not have been able to preach, die on that cross. Preach, preach. And if he did not die on that cross, we would not be able to have salvation. Jesus' mind must have been running through so many things. The spirit is welling, but the flesh is weak. Jesus' flesh was so weak in that moment, he could have just gave it all in right then and there and tapped out to the devil. But Jesus said, no, get thee behind me, Satan. And it's because Jesus Christ knew that he needed to die on that cross yeah. so that you might You better brother, preach. Come you on. Him of your sin because through him, Jesus Christ is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. So if Jesus Christ did not die on that cross, none of us here will be able to have the salvation. Isaiah 53, verse 5 says that he was there for our transgression. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that was caused, peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. The punishment that was caused, peace, because of the cross, we don't have to live in torment, in fear, anxiety, depression. We have hope in Jesus Christ because of the cross. 